Rachel moser Meikle, instructor at the Hart College of Beauty Services. Today we will be doing an advanced facial treatment. Our client for today is Simone Morgan. This video is crucial to skin care and as such you must pay keen attention to details. Let's get started. As OSHA regulation stipulates, the therapist should remove his or her jewelry. You must wear protective gear, which is your lab coat. Your fingernails should be short and clean. Before starting the process of a facial, you must wash and sanitize your hands. And you use a water-based hand sanitizer. The client must remove all his or her jewelry and put away safely. We are now ready to begin. After viewing this video on advanced facial treatment, you'll be able to effectively select the correct product, tools and equipment, prepare and maintain work area, plan and organize work routine, explain the process of skin analysis, and identify the basic skin types and the main skin conditions. Conduct skin analysis, describe the proper safety and sanitation protocols for advanced facial, List the benefits and contraindications of advanced facial. Demonstrate facial using electrotherapy techniques such as high frequency, galvanism, rotary brush, and microdermabrasion. Okay, Simone, you have completed your consultation form and you have identified your skin type as combination where you have dry and oily skin. But well, we will be doing a pre-cleanse and then we do a skin analysis to identify your true skin type. In our facial technique, we work from the décolleté to the face. I'm applying the pre-cleanser, which is an olive oil-based pre-cleanser. But it will not leave your skin oily. I'm working in gloves today, which is a universal precaution that we must practice when working with someone's skin. We have applied our pre-cleanser and we're now manipulating the skin with a pre-cleanser. Pre-cleanser is water activated. You do this just for like two to three minutes. Then you remove with either warm cotton, warm rag, or warm gauze. It's very important to have your garbage bin close by so you can discard of all the material that you use. I'm now gonna use my two by two gauze to create a butterfly, cover over eyes in order to do my analysis with my magnifying lamp. Make her eyes close. Everything that you're using during your facial treatment should be close at hand. This is my magnifying lamp. The magnifying lamp is a five doctor and it magnifies five times what the normal skin would look like. We start by looking at the forehead. Pore sizes are fine on the forehead. They're nice and small. There are some milia on the forehead and a few comedone. Turn to the side for me, please. We have a 
come down right here. You can see where the dryness is along your cheek. Some fine lines also developing right there. Pore size on nose, nice and small. Could you bite your bottom lip up for me, please? Okay, thank you. There's some Commodone and Nilia. Yes, there's definitely, you definitely have a combination skin. I'm seeing oil spots and dry. Also seems sensitive. Do you have sinusitis? Yes, I am. Okay. I'm seeing evidence of that around your nose. Okay. And there is no Commodore, neither closed or open on the decollete area, which is very good. This is our cleanser. We have chosen a combination skin type cleanser to use on you today. up to the zygomaticus, across the maxilla, the knees, the nose area, on the frontal lobe. Removing the cleanser. When doing a facial, you should not apply much pressure to the face. Light, firm, and steady. You still comfortable? Okay. The brush is used for a deeper cleanse with your cleanser. With circular motion, you use your brush. It also stimulates as it's cleaning. For someone with oily skin, you do not want to use the brush. But since Simone has some dry areas, it will help with the stimulation of the sebaceous glands. We're going to be applying our toner, our spray diffuser. This is our desincrustation fluid. We're going to be preparing to do our galvanic treatment. Different product lines have different desincrustation fluid. This one, with a whip of the brush, the fan brush, it foams up nicely. You just need a very small amount. This fluid will help to soften the pores and to assist with the process of microdermabrasion. Okay, my galvanic probe. You put it onto the skin, then you turn it on. You move across the face slowly. The client might have a metallic taste in their mouth, which is oxidization of the saliva. Your cotton, your gauze, your rag should be put away for washing. Sponges to be disposed of in the garbage bin. They are not reusable. The woods lamp is used to identify the skin condition. It tells you exactly what is happening in the skin at this present moment. Before we apply our microdermabrasion, we apply our astringent. any 
additional oil which is on the skin. Skin should be very dry when doing microdermabrasion. Okay, we've applied our diamond tip. Turn your power button on. Start at minimum. Microdermabrasion is an advanced exfoliation technique. Now we're going to go vertical. It exfoliates up to 50% of your epidermis, the corn, stratum corneum layer, leaving your skin smooth. It also diminishes fine lines, especially on the forehead. If they are superficial, open comedone, it is also extract them. You do small segments at a time. This is not a treatment that should be rushed. There are contraindications to microdermabrasion. If someone has metal pins in, they should not do microdermabrasion. They suffer from epilepsy or heart condition. First trimester of pregnancy. Someone who suffers from sunburn. I'm now about to examine the skin to see if there is anything at all that needs this extracting. Beautiful skin. Warm your hands with the massage oil before applying it to the skin. Okay, so we have cleanse, we have massage, we have used our galvanic treatment, we have done our brushing, our rotary brush with our cleanser, which enhances the cleansing process. Now, and we've also done our microdermabrasion. Now we are about to apply the mask. We're using a clay-based mask, which will help to pull out any additional impurities that are within the skin. Skin looks beautiful so far for microdermabrasion. Apply the butterfly. She relaxed with the mask until it's dry. Okay, now I'm about to remove the mask. And throughout the treatment, you'll recognize I did upward movement with applying my product, upward and across. And I go light but firm. You do not want to promote wrinkling, so you do little or no pulling down on the skin. Final tone. Very important to use your solar defense. The client will be going back especially to the sunlight. Even if they'll be driving from the doorway, the sunlight comes through the car window. So you wanna ensure that they are protected and you recommend that the client wear a sunscreen or sunblock every day. Now we're about to perform high frequency. The gauze acts as a buffer between the skin and the high frequency probe. What's the first step in the process of facial? Washing and sanitizing your hands. When do you know that the mask is dry? When there is no more wetness, no more moisture. When do you know that the skin is properly clean? Because when you remove the cleanser and you wipe with your cotton, your rag or your gauze, 
then you see no more residue. How do you know that your client is comfortable is when a client falls asleep. We have come to the end of our facial, advanced facial treatment. I hope you've learned the techniques used in advanced facial treatment. Thank you.